friends, today I've got a Tinkercad SimLab Marble Run. This little critter is interactive with the keyboard in SimLab. Of course, it's also free, so let's get cracking. Let's get to the template super quick by typing bit.ly slash hlmarble and pressing enter. This fantastic design was created by Tulio. I've played with it a couple times. You can find it on Thingiverse. I will, of course, have a link in the description. Friends, it is set to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. So, friends, when you use that bit.ly, you get an exact copy of my project. So, of course, you can have fun, tear this apart, and you will not be messing with my original. Speaking of my original, I have just bounced back to my workspace and I want to work on this project as I show it to you. So I am going to make a copy by duplicating it. That way I don't wreck anything while I'm showing you around. So the first thing I want to highlight is that T is for transparency. That lets you see how the maze works. If we look down inside here, I'm going to hide this for just a moment. I have got this little trap door set to stop the marbles at the bottom and then use a SimLab motor to open it. Of course, right down here, I've got a slider connector that I use as a lifter. I chose to make it a positional mechanism and I've connected it to the keys. When we press the number two, it jumps all the way up to 110. When we press W, it comes back to zero. If we click on the rotation, this is a servo that can rotate 45 degrees, 48 degrees upper, it's got a speed of 10. And then if we edit interactions, let me show you what I did here. I told this to change by 45 while held. So as soon as we let go, it closes so none of the marbles can get back in. So it automatically snaps back to zero. I do also have Q set to put it back to zero just in case something got stuck. If we do show all and bring it back, you can see our maze again. We've got all the marbles sitting on top. I'm going to do T to set that back to solid. I used a tube to make this purple sleeve so that the marbles don't fall through. So now let's bounce to SimLab and I'll show you how it works. The design is a little complex. It takes a moment to load. Of course, once it does load, I'm going to just show you real quickly. Some of these items are set to static. That means they cannot move. Of course, the parts that are inside here are not set to static. They can still move and they're controlled by those sim lab connectors. All right, so to make this a little bit more clear as it runs, let's click on the blue one and let's switch it to transparent. Now we can see through, you can see those mechanisms. This is a lot more slick. For our first run, we can simply hit play. As you can see, the marbles get all the way to the bottom. And then when they do, I'm gonna hold one, it opens, several of the marbles drop in. I let go and it closes. And now when we press two, bam, it jumps them all the way to the top. Of course, I've got to press W to drop it back to the bottom. And then of course we can repeat the process to make the marbles go on forever. So friends, there it is, interactive marble run. Love to see you push the limits of this. See if you can make it so that it is fully automated. Although I do think the interactive with SimLab is pretty darn cool. Friends, I'm gonna keep this real short today. I want you to see it and I'd love to have you share this with everybody. I created the video yesterday showing how to make a car move. Not many people are watching it. I know that we all wanna do designs for 3D printing, but anytime you're using Tinkercad, you're gaining skills and I'd love to see people interact more with SimLab. So if you'll take a moment to share this, it would make my day. Finally, friends, I do want to say thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Love how that group is growing. You can check the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. And I also want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.